first of all, I, I want to thank Michael and then uh, um, Ultimate Fieldhouse for hosting this uh, this Battle of the Creek press conference. It's 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 great for the uh, the school, the basketball teams, and, and also the the city of Walnut Creek. So we're very happy to be uh, part of it, and uh, we're very excited to uh, the rival about the rivalry game. Um, our season is moving right along, and, and we are very excited about the rivalry game versus Northgate High School. The Las Lomas girls basketball is transitioning in every part of our program. I am very excited to see growth in every one of my, my players. Um, as first year head coach, my first order of business was basically communication. Um, I needed to communicate with all um, parties that are involved with uh, Las Lomas basketball. And as I did that, I, I, I was definitely humbled by the connection with the city of Walnut Creek as my uh, inbox quadrupled. I had never had my inbox so full uh, in many years. So I look forward to, to, to more connections with different people. Um, the next order of business, I continued on to with my uh, five seniors and, and of course my team to create the best basketball experience to send our seniors to the next journey in life. Um, it's been a, been a bumpy ride, bumpy road, but our seniors were ready to take the change and, and to lead our young and returning players to better basketball in a fast-paced system. Communication was a big topic in the gym, of course. Um, I praised it every day, um, and I even talked about different forms of communication with these girls and just with their body languages and, and just attitudes. And hopefully they could send it on with them to, to uh, their future, basically. Um, I, I, I've been reminded several times by the players how important the Battle of the Creek is, especially to our seniors. So I've, been, I've taken every opportunity to prepare, prepare my players to play this game. I believe in more of a mental preparation uh, for these girls, the system has been implemented and in place. The thought process of executing all parts of our game will be the determining factor um, as Northgate has tremendous uh, players and very knowledgeable coaching staff. We look forward to the challenge. So I'd like to hear what you do off the court to build chemistry, camaraderie, and maybe hear some strengths. Um, some strengths about this team going into the rivalry game and things that you need to do better down this, the stretch um, this season. So uh, do you want to just kind of go in, in order? Sure. So, um, well, we've had, as seniors, we've had four different coaches each. So we've had a new coach every year. And um, four different teams. And this year, we definitely noticed that our chemistry as a team was improved. We are the same team that we were last year, so that helped. Um, I mean, we were returning the same team, so plus a few new freshmen, so it was very exciting. And um, we've done several team bonding uh, where we just have dinner or we go out for lunch or something, and that's really helped build the chemistry. But we've just, we look at each other more as friends than we did last year, which has really helped in and off the court. And yeah, I think we've grown in that part, in as that aspect of the, ga yeah. the game, sorry. How do, you, how do you become better friends? Um, you know, that, that's, that's a transition, and that's maybe what Marvin was referencing in terms of growth from perhaps mm -hmm. what he's seen from this team. Well, I think it helps, as she said, like we've been together for four years, at least me and her. And um, so we have gone through several coaches, but the thing that stayed was the players. So I think that, you know, it's a great level of like trust and bond just in that and I think our bond has gotten a lot stronger because just because we've been growing up together and we're in high school for four years and and you know it's really it's an emotional sport and you look to your teammates and I think that over the seasons we've gotten stronger and stronger we've grown as, grown as individuals and that all contributes to the relationship and I think the stronger the relationship the better team we're going to be and the better team we are like you know the better We'll play. So. Isabella, as a freshman on this team, how much have you leaned on, on these two seniors who have been through a lot in, in terms of seeing a different coach yeah. every year? I'm guessing learning a new defensive system, a new 
offensive system mm -hmm. each year. Yeah. Maybe right when you get in a groove on one system, then you mm -hmm. have exactly. to learn a new system. I, have they really been a good example for you coming in to uh, learn? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They've been really approachable, so that's always helped me, and I can trust them. They've also helped me a lot, like, getting to know the culture of high school basketball because it's way different from like uh aau or like rec basketball so i think that they've helped me a lot with there and just build build up my confidence to make me a better better basketball player and you weren't there last season but have you do you sense with the seniors a a close-knit group that has gone through a lot together? yeah yeah for sure like they've been through a lot of ups and downs, but I think this year they've really, they've been really like, um, helped each other um, become stronger and uh, closer together. And I think that kind of like uh, spreads onto incoming like freshmen and like uh, in, uh, newcomers or, or oldcomers. Yeah. Ladies, what kind of legacy would you like to leave on, on the program as two women who have? You know, seen so much change each season, right. and kind of look to these two to lead lead the program going forward under Marvin. I'm guessing you hope that yeah. that you have a coach who will stay hope, yeah. and develop yeah. a program. You know, over over years, absolutely, not, not yeah. change yeah. every year. Yeah. Uh, sort of about the legacy. Yeah, because our sophomore year, we got the new coach that kept saying that we were going to build a system and a whole thing and so we looked up to the seniors and we were like oh they're like the first ones to build this system so now it's our turn to be those seniors that are going to leave well hopefully a system for and we see we see a lot of talent in all the new incomers i mean sophomores and freshmen they're incredibly talented and i know they're going to go very far in the game of basketball so i just i'm excited to see what they're going to do and it's just exciting to be the ones to kind of set that in motion yeah yeah, um, I agree with that. Like the legacy that we'll leave behind, is, it lies in like these girls. But like more importantly, I I think I'm more excited to see how like how much of a culture women's basketball becomes at Los Lomas because I mean for years it hasn't. I don't think it's ever been very strong. And I think it's exciting for us to maybe like be the first, you know, females to like start a sense of like sisterhood in a way and like. You know, strong. We're all very strong women. We all go out on the court and play our hearts out. So, I think it's really cool that we get to be the first to like lie down, like you know, the foundation of strong womanhood and playing basketball. Yeah. Coach, how, how have you prepared this past week for the big rivalry game coming up? Well, I think, like I say, I, I, I'm new to the rivalry, and you know, I, I I've implemented the fast-paced system, and I think I've been preparing all year long. And you know, and with this fast-paced system, it, it they really got to think fast, and they've got to act on that. And um, that's what I've been teaching all all year long. So, <clears throat> as we prepare for this game, it's it's all mental. I mean, the physical part of the game, they've got it down. I see them move. I see them play. I see them shoot. It's just the mental part of it. Can they get through the rough spots of what's going to happen in this game? And if they don't, yeah, it's going to have to be a timeout. Julian, have you? Have the seniors been kind of schooling coach on what this game means? Um, schooling in like what, like, what context? Giving them uh, updates on how intense it is how, or what it means yeah. to you guys to win this game. Yeah, I think I, I told you, like, I, I forget. It was like before we had our first Battle of the Creek. Yeah. I was like, you know how much this means to us, right? Like, Absolutely. Because <laughs> I mean, as seniors, like, this is it for us, like, my basketball career is most likely not going to continue um which is like sad but it's, it's bittersweet and so we have like you know our rivalry which means a lot to us as a team but also to Las Lemus and Northgate as a school and um I think he knows that now I think he knows how <laughs> you know how emotional we were you know when we lost the first game so yeah what, what can you guys take from the first game to this game with, with um. Northgate I think we were talking about it yeah. earlier. What We had a pretty good first half, and we were playing hard the whole time. I think it was mostly coming out strong, like Coach was saying, mentally, the second half, because we kind of 
the third quarter was rough, rough for us. So I think it was just coming um, mentally strong the second half and then playing hard, not letting outside like ref calls or anything get to us and playing together. So I think that's what's going to push us through this next game and help us. And as far as as far as logistics, you know, we 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 just played them straight man to man, but with a lot of pressure, which really helped us in the first half. I uh, I think we were up by 11 in the first half, and we continued with that. And of course, you know, with, with their being them being down, they they also applied the pressure. And then I think that's where we have to be able to adjust mentally and physically to to their pressure, and just you know, just share the ball as much as we can and get it up front, and just make them work on defense. Well, I, you know, I, I wish I could remember all the last names because we've been doing a lot of scouting lately, and uh, they definitely have a good inside game. They, they, they in the third and, and fourth quarter, they were really putting it on with the stats as far as the rebounds are concerned, and um, and and just applying the pressure as far as the turnovers are con concerned. So. Um, They've got good players that that just play well within their system, that that do their jobs, work on the little details as far as like technique of just rebounding and 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 just running the play to be able to execute. So I see the whole entire team playing well versus us because it definitely is a game that motivates, you know, everybody from one to eleven.